Well, you deserve a lot of credit, uh, and I wish I were in your shoes right now. Thank you. Well, don't thank me. The only reason I wish I was in your shoes is because mine hurt. <laughs> well, Gretchen, you must be pretty proud of Mike, huh? Has he really got this much talent and ability? Well, uh, I'm very proud of him. I think he's very intelligent. Yes. You have every right to be proud of him. Where do you think he gets all these brains? Is his father a college professor, a scientist or something? No, his father's John Wayne. Oh. John Wayne, huh? Mike, you're saying you got a lot of talent and ability. <laughs> but I'm glad to hear your father was no handicap in your climb to success. <laughs> you know, it's always tough for a kid if the father is famous. Now, how is it you're not a famous actor like your father? Have you tried acting? I tried it once. And you... You retired? Well, yes, I what? retired. I what? had to give it up. Why was that? Well, I, uh, I don't know. I guess no talent. I don't know. Oh, it hasn't stopped me. <laughs> <laughs> well, have, you ever, have you ever acted in one of your father's pictures? Yes, that was a... Uh, I worked in a picture with him, and that was my last one. Uh, what? what? <laughs> First and last. You couldn't even cut the mustard with your old man? Well... <laughs> what kind of a part was it? Well, I played the part of a Mongolian soldier... And, uh, <laughs> now, did you have any dialogue in this picture you yeah. were in? What'd you say? You remember? Well, this uh, must be deathless prose, can't you remember? <laughs> well, I remember the line uh, exactly. As a matter of fact, it was, "Lord, the Merkits fell upon us unaware." <laughs> you say the Merkits fell on your underwear? <laughs> yeah. well, uh, that doesn't sound like a John Wayne picture. <laughs> That sounds like a Monks Brothers picture. The, the Merkits fell upon us unaware. You know, there's an old story in show business. This is a very uh, uh, well-known story about an actor who had one line like that, and this was the first play he'd ever been in. And he was uh, a footman, and he was to come in and say, My lord, the carriage awaits. And uh, he was off stage, you know, he was nervous the opening night. He's walking up and down. And he's saying this line, and he's, it occurred to him that this is a very short line that he had to say, and he thought he would embellish it. So when the uh, time came for his entrance, he walked out, and he says, My lord, the carriage awaits. He says, And I might add that any man that'll strike his mother is no gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> and they threw him out, of course. <laughs> and by an odd coincidence, his father was John Wayne. <laughs> Well, Mike, I'm going to give you the same advice I give all newly married couples. Keep smiling and keep up the payments on the washing machine. <laughs> now, you're very nice kids, and I have enjoyed talking to you. Thank you. Thank you. And now the time has come to see who is buried in Grant's tomb. <laughs> now, you selected Mother Goose rhymes. Do you have any children? No. Well, how would, <laughs> well, how would you know anything about these rhymes? I'm trying to go back in my past. I was a child not too long ago. Oh. What about you? I was a child once myself. <laughs> Were you a child for the FBI? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, Mother Goose Rhymes, I'll ask you some questions. If you miss two in a row, you're out. If you get four in a row right, you win a thousand dollars. Were you ever a child? <laughs> yes, I was. <laughs> well, right now, you're in your second childhood, huh? <laughs> All right. What did Miss Muppet sit on? Her tuffet. And you have one right. She had a lot of nerve, you know, sitting on her tuffet. <laughs> she was sitting on her tuffet watching all the boys go by. Now, in the, in the rhyme, one, two, buckle my shoe, what rhymes with seven, eight? Oh, close the gate. Don't be late. I don't know. Uh, seven, eight, lay them straight. Mm. That's an old poker term. I don't know how that fits in Mother Deuce. <laughs> Mother you, Deuce. Uh, now have one wrong. Okay. All right. What did Simple Simon say to the pieman? Let me taste your wear. That's right. Yeah. Now I have one right. Oh, good. And sing a song of sixpence. Uh, where was the queen? In the, uh... The king was in the, um... She was hanging up the clothes, wasn't she? <laughs> now, 
No, now you have the one. Queen more. was in the parlor eating bread and honey, and along came a blackbird and snipped off her nose. That's another. Yeah. I'll oh, sing a song of six minutes, a pocket full of rye, four and twenty blackbirds baking Pick in a pie. pie. When the pie was open, the birds began to sing. Wasn't that a dainty dish to set before the king? The king was in the pie, and I was counting that as more. The king was in the parlor, eating bread and honey. The maid was in the garden, hanging out the clothes, when along came a blackbird and snipped off the nose. <laughs> king Dongdell, pussy's in the well. Who pulled her out? Uh, little Tommy Stout. Well, little Johnny Stout, but that's close enough. You don't have one, He right. was a fat kid, anyhow. 